Banner, India. While the abandoned town of Banner in the state of Rajasthan, India, has become something of a tourist attraction, you'll notice there are no photos of it at night. That is because, setting foot in the place at night is strictly forbidden, and apparently the Indian government is pretty serious about it. Even though government rules state that, the Archaeological Survey of India must have an office at every historical site, and this is one, there is no office here. Tourists are let in during the daytime grudgingly, but the general attitude of the government seems to be, this is a great place to stay the hell away from. People living here are cursed not just with death, but with super permanent we're serious game over for you death. A prominent sign outside the little town reads, entering the borders of Banner after sunset is strictly prohibited, and while they do not explicitly promise paranormal activity, we think following the rule is probably a good idea. Suburbs of Lehigh Acres, Florida The story of Lehigh Acres is sad, and uniquely American. In the 1950s, businessman Gerald Gould, and Lee Radner divided up a huge stretch of land in southern Florida, owned by Radner, into tiny half-acre parcels that they then sold to northerners for a low, low prices. At ten bucks down, and ten a month, it seemed like a bargain, however, there was no infrastructure in place, and very few houses were built. Many lots were resold when checks stopped coming in, and the place was still pretty barren by the 80s. When the real estate boom of the late 90s began, however, hundreds of cheap, quick houses started flying up on those old lots that, baby boomers had inherited from their gullible parents. Far, far too many houses to actually meet the demand to live there. And when the real estate bubble popped, the suburbs of Lehigh Acres became a veritable ghost town. There are many blocks with only one or two occupied houses, many with none at all. Orador Just down the road from the village of Orador sur glane France, there lies the original village of Orador sur glane or what's left of it. On June 10, 1944, the village had the extreme bad fortune of being confused with nearby Orador surveyors by a Nazi panzer unit, which erroneously believed that, a Waffen-SS officer was being held by the villagers there. The Nazis massacred 642 men, women and children with incendiary devices, and machine gun fire before the mistake was cleared up, which was pretty much the entire population of the town and a few guys who happened to be passing through when the Germans came. French President Charles de Gaulle ordered the town rebuilt, and it was, but he also ordered that the ruins of the old town should stay as a reminder, and they did. A plaque roughly translating to so as not to forget is the only modern addition to this town, which we honestly don't think we ever want to come within a hundred miles of.